UK's first ever Olympic medal on snow, Jenny Jones's Slope Star Snowboarding Bronze Medal. The Bristolian worked as a chalet girl before turning professional and is funded through the UK's National Lottery Scheme. So could this historic win be the start of something big for Britain? I absolutely did not think I would ever be in this position back then when I was a chalet maid. Um, I was cooking breakfasts, cleaning toilets, um, yeah, uh, I was having a great time. I was snowboarding every day and that was amazing. Um, but that was, it was just about snowboarding. You know, at the beginning, it's just always about snowboarding, isn't it? Just enjoying your sport. <laughs> In 2010, the governing body British Snow Sports was placed into administration and British Olympic chiefs were forced to step in. A new organisation was formed, British Ski and Snowboard, with the backing of property investment advisor Delancey and Sir John and Jamie Ritblatt. Delancey is now extending its sponsorship of the Alpine Ski Team to include snowboard, freestyle and cross country. Chairman of Delancey's advisory board and president of British Ski and Snowboard, Sir John Ritblatt. We need to generate support and interest, not just when we have the odd world championship or when we have Olympics. We need to have it on a sustained basis. But to do that, we have to have sustained funding. It begins and ends with the funding. It's a major investment. Team GB is targeting its best Winter Olympics since 1936, setting a minimum goal of three medals. And Delancey says its backing won't end there. I think the Riplats and Delancey, um, and previously perhaps British Land to extent, have been synonymous with British skiing. And we've put in so much that to lose the benefit of such experience as we have and our familiarity with the sport, would be a great shame for what is relatively um, one of the, the smaller investments we might make. Experts say the correlation between finance and medals can't be ignored. Delancey will need to set its sights firmly beyond the slopes of Sochi for a smooth run towards the 2018 Games in Korea.